What is up? Welcome back to another video. Um, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a minute since I picked up the camera, but I'm gonna have an update for you guys on what's going on here shortly, or what's going on in the past couple of months since I have not up uploaded a video. Um, all right, so I'm on my way to Monterey, uh, BMW Monterey right now because something went bad on the BMW uh, and was it my fault? No. Was I abusing the car? Maybe, but no. <laughs> uh, I got my car serviced at well, this one place. I'm not gonna mention names because I don't want anybody going out there and say you guys are pieces of shit. Um, so I just, I. I got my car service, um, I didn't have time to do an oil change, so I was like, oh, I'll, just, I'll just stay here. So I was like, okay, well, might as well, since I'm here, just do an oil change on my car, so I did do an oil change. So once I get my car back, uh, a few hours later, I'm heading to the gym, uh, and then the oil light pressure came on, uh, and I was like, what's going on? So the next day, I took my car to the to the shop and they said hey um your brother your brother's a faulty car and uh you're blaming it to putting the blame on us right and i was like what the hell so technically they told me to go kick rock so um so yeah uh, unfortunately i did drive my car a couple of um miles and with the uh, the low oil pressure light on so um yeah motors toasted i I believe it is so I just dug into it a few days ago and uh, and then I realized they forgot to do something um, or they removed the part from the oil cap filter which is the cage in the middle uh, they removed that piece and they didn't put it back on uh, with that being said that triggered the oil pressure light to to go off right so um, with that being said I I just I brought it to the shop's attention. They told me basically, go fuck yourself, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, point is, if you can do the job yourself and don't trust anybody to do it, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Uh, I just, I was not being lazy. It's just because I have no time uh, to do something. Uh, you know, I had no time in uh, my place where I'm staying at right now. At my place, we cannot do any mechanic work already, so they give us a warning, so that's the whole reason why I didn't do it at my house. Anyways, do not trust anybody with your car. Trust yourself. If you do it yourself, trust yourself, okay? And if you wanna do, uh, or if you wanna take it to the shop, take it to a reputable shop that they know what the fuck they're doing, or they know exactly, or they know, or they're familiar with your car, pretty much. I'm talking way too much. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop at Starbucks real quick, get my coffee, cause I need some coffee, and I'm uh, heading over to BMW of Monterey so I can go buy this part and hopefully we can salvage this motor. Anyway, let me see what's up. Let me go pick up this part and then come back and uh, and give you guys an exact update and tell you what exactly happened and what is the future on the Subaru, the 240, the Honda EG and all that shit going on because I got an update for all of you guys uh, and I got something coming and it is gonna be crazy and I'm working on a video for the Subaru but I'm like way behind on videos right now so let me just uh, pick up the camera in a little bit be right back all right guys uh, we got the bag secure the bag all right, guys, uh, back secure. We heading back home. Uh, I wish I can stay here for a little bit, check out some cars, but we got to go take care of the issue we have with the F30. Uh, big shout out to BMW Monterey for hooking me up. They said they didn't have the part, but actually, they, the guy went on the back and checked it out, and he actually had the piece. Anyways, let's get home and replace or we'll place this fucking part back on the car because it was already there. This motherfucker from the shop removed it for no reason and forgot to fucking put it back on. Anyways, let me call out. 
Bree. <laughs> anyway, so I'll pick up the camera once I get home and hopefully the F30 starts and it kind of gets to an uh, a better uh, idle or you get uh, some type of oil pressure built. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm back at the part here and I'm about to replace it. I want to change the, the the way I record a little bit because it's a lot more, you know, it's uh, kind of boring sometimes. So pretty much we have the oil cap filter with the cage inside. Okay, um, this, this is brand new. I just picked it up from PMW as you guys saw. Um, and we're gonna replace it. We're gonna just pop this out and put it in the billet um, BMS oil cap filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna go grab a 19 millimeter and remove the cap, and uh, and then go from there. Hopefully everything goes well because I'm getting sick and tired of not driving my car I'm gonna wash it clean it do everything to it if it starts and if uh, well if it starts normal like it should all right let's go ahead and put this on the side and so fix this over all right so if you guys never removed the billet or not removed a oil cap um, the oil cap filter I'm sorry the filter cap whatever you call it I mix it all around so I just normally use a a, a a tool that sits in here that sits over I'm sorry that sits on top of it and just twist right so uh, most of the time you cannot find the tool or it's just it's too much and everything starts looking kind of funky on the on the threads on the on top of the cap so I literally bought a BMS uh, billet uh, oil cap filter and you, you can remove it with the 19 millimeter socket and makes your job a lot easier all you do is just twist out I had to go get the uh, gloves because I'm touching oil and I should have grabbed a rag let me go get a rag real quick all right let's put this rag here of the rag and okay so I didn't I was ex I was telling you guys uh, in the car actually I totally forgot to bring this back uh, so whoever replaced the oil filter right um, which is in here right they they put in the correct one but they removed the cage that was inside the oil cap filter so with that being said uh, it wasn't building any pressure and if you guys watch all the videos I'm not gonna get into detail but you could blow your motor if you don't have this cage in here and if you're saying you're stupid then it happened to me so I'm not stupid anyways uh, <laughs> so let's uh, let's just uh, pop it from this one so what you do is pretty much kind of wiggle it out or just push push it out or push it down and then pull out right so all you do is press it in make sure is this one's kind of wiggly but the one that I had before it was pretty solid but all you do is just press it in until it clips in you hear the clip and um and sitting sitting correctly right so let's put it back in there and hopefully this fixes the problem because if it doesn't then I like I said, the shop that um, I took the car to, they said uh, they're not doing shit. They're not doing nothing to my car and to go kick rocks, pretty much. So let's just put it back uh, back on and start the car. Hopefully, we, ha we don't have an issue. But see how fast that's... Uh, um, see how fast installing this uh, cap filter is? And, like... It helps out a lot right so that's the whole reason why i bought it and it went in smooth so let's give it a shot hopefully we built some oil pressure and the engine is good if not then we're gonna have to replace the whole thing so let's cross fingers and let's get it going all right guys i was super stoked right now but actually you felt uh, there's something else wrong with the car. I have to plug it in and figure it out what, what it is. 
but um, literally it's uh, inspiring. Uh,